After I Watch Spider-Man No Way Home Extended Version on Apple TV, a.k.a. iTunes Video Player. On my iPhone, all I gotta say... Best superhero movie ever! Hey guys, I'm Eric Creel, and welcome to the Creel Studios. I'm here today to review the film Spider-Man No Way Home, which is the extended version, came out in 2022, but in the theatrical version, it came out in 2021. And it's directed by John Watts, and stars Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Zendaya, John Favreau, Benedict Cumberbatch, or Benedict Cumberbatch, what have you, and all the others. And it's basically what happens is when Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, who wants to found out our newest mission alongside with Doctor Strange, and then soon, as the villains, which is Green Goblin, Doctor Octopus, Electro, Sandman, and even the Lizard. And then soon as Spider-Man who want to defeat the villains when suddenly when Toby and Andrew are becoming the Spider-Men. Soon as the Spider-Men who want to defeat the villains and that's basically the plot for the entire movie. So what have I heard about Spider-Man No Way Home? So the first time I've been binge watched Spider-Man No Way Home extended version on Apple TV, a.k.a. iTunes Video Player on my iPhone. And then, what do I think of it? This movie is awesome. So, it is the best MCU movie of all time, and not just that, the best Spider-Man movie of all time, and as well as the best superhero movie of all time. So, the story of the film looks absolutely amazing. The visuals and special effects are absolutely awesome. And the action sequences are extremely epic. These are my favorite action sequences. They look so awesome. And the characters, we have Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. He's amazing, which is performed by Tom Holland. Ah, yes. And Tom Holland is officially my favorite Spider-Man actor of all time for right now. And then we have Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker. He's amazing! And then we have Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker. He is amazing as well! And then we have Peter's friend. He is amazing in this one. MJ, she's awesome in this one! Including Doctor Strange. He's amazing in this one! And including... Green Goblin. He's awesome in this one. And you know, with Harry Osborn, that looks really awesome. And then we have Dr. Octavius, or should I say, Dr. Octopus. He is awesome! And then we have Electro. He's awesome in this one! And which is performed by Jamie Foxx. So, Electro, you redeem yourself in this movie. So, after you did a wasted job in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but now you redeem yourself in this one, that is amazing! And then we have Sandman. He is amazing in this one. And just so you know, Sandman is my favorite character from Spider-Man 3. And then we have the Lizard. The Lizard looks awesome! All kinds of characters look really amazing, and including the, the news reporter. He's awesome, which is performed by J.K. Simmons. Ah, yes, the legend returns! And the music scores are really awesome, which is, compo which is composed by Michael Giacchino. Ah, yes, the best-looking music scores I've ever had, alongside with Lightyear music score... Incredibles 2 music score, and even Ratatouille music score, Coco music score, Up music score, 
and even Dean Crample's music scores. These are really awesome. So, I have no complaining about this film. Overall, Spider-Man No Way Home is, without a doubt, the best superhero movie of all time, and as well as the best MCU film of all time, and as well as my favorite Spider-Man movie ever. So, I gave Spider-Man No Way Home a maximum infinity, infinity, infinity out of 10. And it definitely gets the seal of epic masterpiece. So tell me, what do you think of Spider-Man No Way Home? Let me know in the comments. And stay tuned for my video called Why I Won't Rant on Rally Road Racers for Tomorrow. And stay tuned for more videos of why I won't rant on that I might consider watch all the Ant-Man movies on Disney Plus leading up to Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania on Disney Plus. That might be fun when it comes out this Wednesday. And also stay tuned for my review on Indiana Jones movies leading up to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I all might do a review on Christopher Nolan movies leading up to Oppenheimer. And I might do a non-spoiler movie review on Across the Spider-Verse, so stay tuned for that. And I might do my another non-spoiler movie review on Elemental, which is the new Pixar movie to coming out this June. So, if you want to see more videos to my channel, click subscribe, click the bell button before I see more messages notifications, whatever you like. Thanks for watching, and peace out!